All right, it's been a while since my mom be has been a special guest here on my hair loss channel as I am your cult leader. So I'm gonna ask my mom a difficult question. And this is unrehearsed, she doesn't even know what this video is about. Do you watch my hair loss videos? I watch some of them. So you know that I've Just been- Just off and on. You know that I've been saying that once this show airs on Lifetime, I have the freedom to have hair however I want to and I don't have to look like the guy. Oh, yes. <laughs> Yes, I know what's coming. Oh. So, once it airs, oh. I'm definitely planning on getting rid of my hair. All of it. Well, what I'm planning on to do is a zero guard, which is less hair than I've ever had. I cuz even in in college when I first started buzzing off my hair at age tw like 21, like you were okay with like a number 3 guard, but like a number 2 and shorter you didn't like. Um and uh but I I don't know. I'm, I, I like it. Like, I like to get rid of my hair for a while and then to have hair for a while. I like to alternate back and forth. Like, I, I'm a committed kind of guy. Like, I can make commitments for the rest of my life for certain things. But when it comes to hair, like, if I still have an option, like, I don't feel like having hair all the time. And sometimes I just love to get rid of it for a while. I, like, and I think for me, psychologically, it's because, and I made a video about this recently, saying that um, I think a lot of guys use hair as what I call a confidence crutch they think that they can have confidence as long as they have hair. The way I think is the opposite, that you be a confident person first, and then hair is just an accessory whether you have it or not. Being a confident person is what matters more than anything. So I think for me psychologically, it tests out my theory to make sure that I truly in my heart believe that I don't need hair to be a confident person. Um, but see, aside from all of that psychology is this fact how do you feel about it when I get rid of all my hair? Oh, I say, I think, oh no, <laughs> because it's just, I don't know. It's just, it's, it's extreme, but I do know it's part of Nick. It's part, you know, it's, it's part of who he is. And I know to expect it. If things have been calm for too long and they have, been. and it's they have yes, two years, yes. I've had the same basic hairstyle. They haven't. So I knew when he started talking about shaving his head, I, I mean, I knew it would happen, but I was just kind of, I was hoping maybe for a number two guard or, you know, me, maybe just not extreme. I'm going to turn the dryer back on. It'll keep the baby asleep. Keep talking. <laughs> maybe not ex so extreme, but I thought, no. Then I thought, no, no. I thought he's going to go ahead and probably shave it all off. It's just extreme. It takes me a while to get used to it. I remember the first time Nick did it, he was in college. And um, I think he came home on his first break. And yeah, I think all the guys in his dorm yeah, had shaved did. their head. And, and, and it gave me, that's what gave me the bravery. Is that a word? Yeah, that's a word to do it because everyone else was doing it. And I wasn't doing it because everyone else was doing it. I was doing it because I've never done this before and this is a great time just to jump in and get away with it. And that way, if I look dumb, I'll get away with looking dumb with everybody else. But everyone complimented me on that. Not only in the dorm, but just where at my college. And I thought, okay, so I guess I can get away with this. Um, so it is funny though, because I guess when I come down uh, to visit for a week, you know, in a couple of weeks for, for spring break, for my, for my son's spring break, there's a good chance I'll, I'll have it then. And, 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 and you're not gonna like it. So I just wanted to acknowledge that. Um, but you also know how entrepreneur minded I am about all these YouTube videos. And, yes. we, and, and here's the thing about it. Yes. And that's also part of my identity. We, it, yes, it will, it, will, it will grow back. <laughs> yeah, my hair will grow back. But we know that when I, some of my most popular videos are when I don't have hair and I talk about how short it is and I talk about shaving it off and all those things. So it's a way to help kind of cater to the people and over 3,000 subscribers now that that don't have hair on top anymore. And that's fair. That's, that's... I want to cater to, to everyone. You and know? I, and I, I, I get that. I get that. I guess for me, the, what's surprising is over the couple of years I've been doing this channel is, is that I have been specifically expecting for my hair not to be there. So I'm like, okay, well, I'm going to buzz it off and maybe the next time it won't be there. But it looks like things have slowed down and maybe it is. Do you think the rosemary oil is helping? I think the rosemary oil is helping because I've watched just sporadic videos and it's like, yes, I do. I think I think the rosemary oil is helping. I do. It there there's there's definitely a, a, a contrast going back and looking at your videos from a year year ago. And and, and like I said, I, I watch random ones. If I'm cooking, I'll turn one on and sometimes I'll be listening to it and then I'll kinda watch off and on. But yes, I do, I do. I, I think the rosemary oil 
has slowed down your hair loss. Yeah. I think that, like you said, along with being a vegan, not having any animal products in your, you know, in your diet, not anything to uh, clog up your pores. Yeah, the, and, so, and I think the extra testosterone and estrogen, those hormones from animals. But I, I always tell them, how many YouTubers do you know that regularly talk about using rosemary oil and argan oil and being a vegan and who have apparently showed signs of hair loss slowing down or possibly reversing. There's just, I'm like the human guinea pig for that. Uh, but anyway, so yeah, I'll get rid of the hair for a while. I'll make lots of videos about that. Um, I'll be testing out my own theories on whether I truly feel confident even without hair. And I know that arguably I'm still a hypocrite because when it all is said and done, I'm still gonna have hair growing back and I'll still have hair. I'm not doing it because I have to. It's like that episode of Seinfeld. I think Brian Cranston from you know Breaking Bad was the guy. He had a hairline similar to mine and he was dating Elaine and he shaved all his hair off and the whole episode was about how he didn't have to because they were like, oh, you're, you're dating a bald guy. Well, she said, well, no, he, he could have hair if he wants to, but he decides, he chose to shave it off. And that was kind of like the whole episode. And I'm gonna be very similar to that you know situation on that show. Um, but I wanna close the video with this. Psychologically, that's always the theme of my videos. Psychologically. <laughs> I guess why does it like bother you or you you don't like me not having what I think it's like? just so extreme if it was just like a gradual if it's a gradual thing like 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 what like like what happens with a lot of men their hair starts thinning and it's just a you know a gradual process but then when you know I guess it's just just that initial shaving you know it's just wow and and it's so short it's yeah. just it's so it's just so short there's just no hair it's just a shock it takes a while yeah and you know when i once i finally do it it'll probably be that for a few visits and then suddenly well you'll it will be suddenly because you watch my videos so you'll see okay well now he's growing it back um but for me it's just it's a psychological exercise for me plus i honestly like doing it i i like not having hair uh, on purpose it's something i enjoy doing going back and forth to until i don't have that choice whenever that day may come um so uh, I just wanted to make a video to acknowledge that because that's coming and I know that you're not going to like it. And I, I, I get a warning this time. It, yeah, this, this will be the first time too that I get a warning. Like I know this is coming. I've been expecting it because Nick's been calm for too long. You know, just, you know, nothing just really extreme with his hair. So I, I, so I, I thought, okay, it's, it's coming. I can expect it. You can. Let's just let this show air and then... And then you'll have to look at me without hair, and on purpose. You have the you have the fast growing hair too. <laughs> so, so we'll. It's important though to me as a person <laughs> in this channel that we do this. But the only person that it would affect would be you. Because <laughs> if, if if you all if you all enjoy it, it's worth it <laughs> for your benefit to you know to to help you and to watch Nick's hair being shaved and um, then start to grow back again. And it's kind of like that song by Johnny Black, where this his song, Man in Black, where he says, I wear black for, you know, the prisoners. I wear black for all these people, you know. For me, that's kind of why I want to do it too. I want to do that to identify with my much younger viewers who don't have an option, and that's really their only option. I want to be able to identify with them as well. And even though I still will have hair that could grow back, in some sense, I'm making an effort to try to understand more how they feel. Oh, okay. So it's kind of like, sort of like um, how when you see women shave their heads, if some of one of their friends lose their hair, you know, and they don't have hair or they get alopecia or something like that and they want to feel their pain. I think in, they in shave some way. Kind of like that? I think, but it also brings more meaning to all my words and saying that hair is a confidence crutch. You don't need hair to be confident. You need to be confident and then worry about, and then not worry about hair from there. Hair is not the reason for confidence. Confidence is the reason for confidence. Hair is just something that you don't have to, that doesn't have to affect your confidence. And I believe that in my heart, and I know those words help people, but until I get rid of the hair while saying that, I don't think it's still going to mean as much. I get it, I, okay, okay. I, I get it now. I, I get it, you even though- I like it, but even though. <laughs> Yes, it'll 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 be a shock. It'll be a shock. It always is. But but yeah, most of the time I don't get a warning. This is this time I'm going to get a warning. So it's going to be nice. So.
So a couple more weeks and then we'll get to that place. <laughs>